Hey, happy Sunday afternoon, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I have another update for you this afternoon. Matter of fact, it's a pretty big update, guys. Not only did they increase it to Hurricane Force 2 winds now, a Cat 2 all the way across Florida. I think this will strengthen even more. We have Hurricane Watches that is out and Tropical Storm Watches that is out already. So all the way from this pink, which I will show you, you can expect storm surge up to 11 feet as well. Hurricane Watch going all the way down towards Sarasota, towards Port Charlotte. Then you have Tropical Storm Watches as well all across Florida. So just be aware they are putting watches out. That's because it's within a 48-hour period. A warning is within a 24-hour period. You've never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Matter of fact, before any of these models alerted anybody else, you can ask my viewers, I'll follow the data. The data always tells you what's going to happen before it happens. And at the end of September, going into October, we're really going to blow up into our hurricane season. That's how I found this storm. That's how I found many storms before it even popped up on other people's radar. My community knew about this a month ago. And it's getting very serious. It will be a major hurricane. It's slowly strengthening and strengthening in their data. And it's always been showing a major hurricane now. For a long time. Matter of fact, we have their new data that came in from the aircraft reconnaissance from today. That goes into the model data from the hurricane analysis models. Now they're showing a potential, not only a Cat 3, potential Cat 4 that can come out of this. So it is turning into a serious issue. If you are power dependent in any way at your house, you should go to a shelter or you should leave because there will be a lot of power outages. Now you can see right here, this is a tropical storm field this big old blue one and so far from what we have this is a hurricane field this pink one and you can see the direction that it is going all the way from this side all the way to this side this will all be hurricane force sustained winds going right over Gainesville right over Jacksonville this will change this will update I think it's this will even upgrade guys now so far the track has moved a little bit further to the east now tampa and sarasota is on the east side of this storm it is going to be east side loaded and i'm even showing that in the bay of tampa you can still get maybe 13 foot waves plus your storm surge i'm showing it'd be a lot of very strong impact now this right here as you see franklin never had no problems with franklin this right here is a nam run you never follow the nam when it comes to the tropics just for this reason alone the nam is showing a cat five I put this on here just so you can see how big a Cat 5 actually would be. Look at the size of that beast covering everything. Look at it compared to Franklin, which is a major hurricane. But this is not something you want to go by. This is only by the NAM. I only did this just to show you what the NAM looks like. We actually have a very robust storm right now, and it's looking pretty dire. It's very big compared to Franklin. Look how huge our storm is. And it's still back here getting suppressed by the upper level low, just like my video earlier today. If you didn't see that, go watch it. You'll learn exactly how this is coming to fruition and what's expected and when this is going to eject north. But the newest update is it is growing largely, guys. Look how big this is compared to Franklin. Plus, everybody that's in all this blue, all this blue is all at least tropical storm force winds. And look how much of Florida is covered. It's not going to go here and then skip and go here. You have to track this straight across into Georgia. It is covering a wide area and it has moved further east. Now, I do have links in the description for you to go check out. It is very important information. If you didn't see my video earlier, go to the links in the description of that video. I do have things on the checklist that is going to be tax free for you to go get for your hurricane list. It's very important, guys. Now, this is what the NAM just showed you. And you can see it got all the way down to a 896, <laughs> a Cat 5 major hurricane. I know that is not funny, but it's just funny because you see it on the NAM. You never go by the NAM. I just wanted to show you this in case someone else showed you this. You don't go by this. But here we are, live satellite look. There's Franklin. And there is our big monster. Huge, guys. It is a very big beast. And you can see on infrared that it is growing greatly. It has strong bandings. It's going all the way, reaching out towards Cancun now with the big bandings, a big outflow is going all the way into Honduras. This thing is huge. And it is moving 
two or three miles per hour to the north because it's getting suppressed by that upper level low. So it is going to sit there and build some more until it gets pushed to the north, which is not going to be a good thing. Look how big Adalia is. Now, just like I showed you before, you have the tropical storm watches out and you have the hurricane watches out as well. I also expect this to go up. I did post this earlier. The latest intensity guidance showed that a lot more has confidence in a Cat 2 hurricane. I still expect this to go up. The hurricane analysis forecast system, the updated one, the one that's been released for this year. Don't go by H Wharf. That's the old one. People that's showing you that, they don't know what they're doing. The first one you want to show is the analysis. The H Wharf is the old one. You always downgrade that one. It always overdoes it. Those are still showing a Cat 3, potentially Cat 4, and they have the new data in it today. But just be well-rounded. I don't want to leave anybody out. Let's go with the Euro again. The Euro is bringing it all the way down to a 980 hurricane. And what's really suspicious is as it's going into that warmer waters right along the continental shelf, it's going down to a 980. And as you go three hours later, it's still a 980. Hmm, that just don't seem right right there as it goes across. Still bringing the crazy amount of winds. It keeps strengthening and strengthening. I guarantee you we cannot go by this chart. Also, the rainfall is showing a whole bunch of rainfall. We can't go by this chart as well. I got a chart that we're going to go by for rainfall. It is from Weather Prediction Center. This is from Meteorologist, not a model run. GFS is still trending. A Cat 3 hurricane, guys. Still trending on GFS. Still showing a whole bunch of crazy winds with that one as well. And the crazy rainfall has upgraded. It brought even a foot now from North Carolina into South Carolina but heavy all the way into the Gulf. So as we go by the hurricane analysis models, this is a hurricane analysis forecast system A. You can see as it goes closer, you can see the update, and this has aircraft reconnaissance data in it, guys. This is what gives it the new model runs. And now you can see it goes all the way down to a 941. That is a Cat 4. Some would even argue that being a Cat 4, so we can just be nice and say it is a very top of the end scale Cat 3. Showing that the winds will start coming in Monday night into Tuesday morning. Start feeling them tropical storm force winds going across western Florida. And then as it goes into Florida. Now the one thing you got to remember is as this system, if it could sit still for me, if it could sit still, that as it's spinning around counterclockwise, it will be throwing all this surge into the west coast of Florida for hours as the wind's just steady blowing that in, guys. Still showing 130 miles per hour sustained winds coming with this hurricane and still strong overland of Florida, still strong going over Georgia, reaching more waters on the other side, maybe helping it stay strong as it keeps going across. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible for y'all just to give you the latest updates, and that's about it. You can also see what Hurricane Analysis Forecast System B, the second model. It brings it even lower. It brings it all the way down to a 936, guys. Definitely a Cat 4 hurricane. So both of the analysis hurricane models, the updated models that was released this year, with the new information from the aircraft reconnaissance from today, has gone upgraded to a almost a Cat 4 or a Cat 4 by landfall. Now that is pretty dire. And still showing it will stay a hurricane while it goes over Georgia as well. Showing the same thing as the A model. That is bringing a lot of strong winds. It's bringing a lot of surge. And the strongest wind so far is a little bit stronger. It's going up to 142 miles per hour. Sustained winds. Not wind gusts. Sustained winds. This is why I told y'all over and over. I've seen people in the comments. Some people laughing. Hey, it's going to be a Cat 1. It's going to be a Cat 2. Ha, ha, ha. Listen, you don't know how it is, especially when you're power dependent on certain equipment for your health. It's not funny to make fun of older people. They need to leave or go somewhere where they can get power. Go to a shelter. You need to leave, especially as this increases. In the morning, when I update you, if I update you with a major hurricane and you got less than 24 hours to do something, it could be too late. Just remember that. Something else we got when we have our chances for our tornadoes. Now, when we go into Tuesday, there will be chances for thunderstorms in the northwest. Oh, well, that's why you see down here Spokane, Washington. But for Florida, this is where you're going to have your chances for your tornadoes so far. Tampa, Florida, all the way to St. Petersburg, all the way to Gainesville, all the way to Clearwater, and more areas. That's just the main towns. 
And you can see this from National Weather Service. The potential for isolated tornadoes may gradually increase across parts of the Florida Gulf Coast vicinity through Tuesday night as a tropical cyclone approaches. Plus, links in the description as well as you go into Wednesday. Start getting these big waves, starts pushing in. You can see right here for the Tampa Bay that you really start getting 12 foot waves. And as you go to Wednesday, it gets a little bit more. It starts going towards 13 foot waves. So not only the onshore flooding, the, the storm surge that's going to come in, you got some huge waves coming in. So I know a lot of y'all have a lot of boats tied all in here. Just be aware you got some really nasty waves coming through as well. Another update. So you can see right here in the yellow, all the yellow you can expect up to six feet storm surge over here for the Keys in Southern Florida, up to three feet storm surge. And all this orange right here, up to nine feet storm surge. And all this red, up to 11 feet storm surge. And as their forecast increases, so will these numbers, guys. As they start going in towards a major hurricane status and maybe even the Cat 4 status, these will increase as well. So keep everybody happy, give you as much information as I can. This is pretty much what I'm known for and I'm, I'm very proud of it. I'm not caring about having a video longer than eight minutes so it can be monetized. I want the information out. This is a zoomable storm inundation map. And you can see right here the colors, anywhere from greater than nine feet. So you have your color palette as well. And you can see where you're getting greater than nine feet, greater than six feet, storm surge inundation, serious, flooding that's coming all along the coast of Florida. And over here for Tampa, you have the three feet and the six feet everywhere. So please zoom in with this map. This map will tell you exactly what you need to know for your area. Link in the description. Also, the updated rainfall maps. This is a five-day rainfall forecast. If you're anywhere in the light green, and it's not showing the Carolinas, but I have something for you. If you're anywhere in the light green, one to two inches. The dark green, that's two to four inches. If you're in any of this yellow, it is four to six inches of rainfall. Then you have some hot spots in this orange that is six to 10 inches expected. But I have this link in the description for you as well. You can see with the Euro and you can see with the GFS. And it looks like the Euro is just somewhat off. And you can tell obviously they're going by the GFS status which shows a major hurricane, guys. It's been showing that all day. So you can go here, you can zoom in all the way to your place and see how much rainfall is expected for you. You can go anywhere, it goes North Carolina, it goes anywhere on the whole country, guys. And you can go 24 hours, three days, five days. You can go 10 days, but it's ridiculous because it always changes, even five days change. This is widespread major flooding. And you can see right here from Weather Prediction Center that that is what they're going by. So here is your flooding for the next seven days. You have two days, three days, five days, exactly like you see with the GFS. It's not going to quickly turning right here and getting the coast like the Euro. And then you have maybe seven days that might add up to more tropical moisture. But just going for the next five days. What you have over here on the ledge on the left, three to four inches, maybe up to five in all this dark and light red. All this orange is going five to seven inches of rainfall. And these areas of this brown, which will grow when you go to seven days. This areas of the brown, especially for the Florida panhandle, seven to 10 inches of rainfall expected. So please be aware, guys, this is going to be something very serious and it is growing stronger and stronger. Please help me warn and alert other people. There's a lot of people there don't know if they should leave. Zoom into these maps, look at your area. You can clearly see the decision for yourself. Don't sit here and listen to someone say, hey, he's not a meteorologist. Don't go nowhere. You know if your life's at threat. Look at the data for yourself. But thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. I hope y'all are still heeding my warning. Those that wasn't knowing about it or just still thinking about it, chew on this new data. I will update you in the morning. I guarantee you we'll be talking about a Cat 3 major hurricane. Hopefully not. But the, the trend I can see is just more and more. And this is getting more and more like Ian was, like others were. The more advisories we kept getting, they kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. I was hoping not to see this. And sure enough, here it is. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you have a very great night tonight. A real quick Psalm 46, 1 through 3. Always want to praise our God. <laughs> Amen. 
God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. Amen. And Selah means think about what you just heard. Because you will see it. <laughs> all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray it keeps you safe, you and your family, every day of your life. Forever. Be safe, everybody. Count on God. Trust in Jesus. And listen to yourself. For he is within you. He's your helper. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great night. Be safe. Prepare. I'll see you in the morning.